Now what we do is we just make two, we put her in this, first back up here, we put her in this in this cradle here because uh, we want basically all of her intestines to come down, we want all of her mental fat to come down so that her, her uterus is exposed. Okay, when we go in there with, uh, with our scope, we want to be able to see her uterus nice so we can do a good job of depositing the semen. Uh, some of these doughs have slightly bigger udders and so that's why Luke is hanging up on the udder because kind of where her udder was hanging down is actually right where we wanted to go in. Uh, with our scope. <clears throat> and so again, uh, uh, the, the, the mammary gland is a very productive organ, okay, so we want to try and miss any veins. It does have a lot of veins going to and from it. Okay, so we'll just kind of make it. It's kind of tough to tell here sometimes. Does do have slightly tougher skin than sheep, and so we want to make a, a slightly bigger incision than what we would with a sheep. <clears throat> we'll put everything on the TV monitor once we get in there too, so you'll be able to see. <clears throat> So we got a little bit of bleeding there. Um, normally we don't get any bleeding. Uh, and again, we want them to recover from this procedure very well, okay? And so we're not gonna overload them on, uh, overload them on uh, our anesthesia. Put some CO2 in her abdomen. Basically, that separates her abdomen from uh, from her uterus. It gives us kind of a little room to work in. However, the room's still dark, and so we'll go ahead and we'll put a light bulb in the room if you like, so we can have a good look at what's what's inside. Okay. All right. This looks really nice. Uh, All right, so right there's the used uterus. Okay, there's one uterine horn there. Okay. There's the other uterine horn there. Her bladder's actually quite full, fuller than what I thought, and that's what's coming right up on top of the screen there. Okay. So we call them uterine horns because you see how they curl over. They look like horns on a, let's say, a, a Rambouillet ram, if you've ever seen a Rambouillet ram. Here it's kind of like playing a little bit of a video game here, You're looking for horns. Okay. So we just come right here, push it in, you pull it out because it's pushing against the side there of the other side of the uterus. There we go. That blood that you see in there, that's from the incision that we made up here. Okay, so there's you can see there it's hanging down at the end of the scope. There we go. Add it off. So there's our other uterine horn that we're looking for. Okay, 